Hello, my name is Paul Wettel. I'm a postdoc on EPIC, I'm working on topic five for horizon scanning. And here I'm going to present a uh, preliminary analysis looking at risk pathways for blue tongue introduction to, to, to the UK and then on to Scotland. So there's two primary routes by which um, blue tongue could be introduced to, to, to the UK specifically. One is through the importation of uh, animals that are infected with blue tongue. And the second is through infected midges, uh, the vector being carried across the North Sea or the English Channel from countries in uh, mainland Europe. The first route we're not going to explore here, it's the second route that I want to focus on in this poster. So the Met Office in collaboration with Perbright um, throughout the vector active season produces uh, maps and analyses describing the, the the weather conditions and the areas that would be potentially suitable both as, as sources of infected midges and where those infected midges would arrive. And those arrival sites are shown by figure one on the poster that I'm presenting here. And you can see that the, the, the most frequent um, arrival sites are those in red and yellow, the least frequent, so it's focused around the southeast of England and then going right up to North Yorkshire, but with very few um, potential events over the course of, 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 of an average summer. What you'll notice from this is that there's no, the Met Office do not forecast that there's any risk of direct introduction to Scotland. So the disease could potentially be introduced to England, but not to Scotland by these midges being carried across, uh, across the seas. So this leaves a potential indirect route of introduction. Now, if the, if, if the disease is introduced by midges and they go on to infect animals and those animals are, in, are detected and disease is detected, then there are movement bands come in which would prevent onward movement to Scotland. However, there remains another route, particularly with the current strains of blue tongue that are circulating because they're, they're, they're showing a lot of subclinical infections and it's often very mild clinical signs. So potentially the disease could be introduced to one of these counties and then move onward to Scotland without the disease being detected. So what we've done here is a very simple analysis to look at where the counties are that the Met Office say are regular sites of introduction and how many animals move to Scotland from those counties. And you can see both the cattle and sheep here, but with the, the, the figures two and three with the turquoise bars showing the number of potential midge introductions over a summer and then the, the, the pink red bars showing the, uh, the, the number of animals that move from those counties that typically in most cases for, for sheep in particular, but also for cattle, those counties in the southeast that have large numbers of potential midge introductions move very few animals to Scotland. Then there's North Yorkshire, which moves a lot of animals to Scotland, but has very few introductions. But then in the middle there, there's Devon, which has a moderate amount of both. But there's none of these counties. What we're really would be very alarmed by here would be one of those counties with a big turquoise bar also having a large number of animals moving to Scotland. And that's not the case with cattle, but we would be a bit concerned about Devon. Um, and likewise for sheep, there's similarly, there's probably even fewer animals coming from those higher risk counties from, 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 from um, in terms of sheep movements. So overall, this gives us reasonable assurance that there's very low risk of this direct route of introduction coming from, 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 from infected midges being carried across the channel, but this could be expanded to a more formal quantitative risk assessment to look at both the, 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 the durations of infection, the likelihood of detection, and potentially also if animals were to stop off en route, if there were to be intermediate stops en route, so if an animal were to move from, from, from from, from Kent to Cumbria what, and then on to Scotland, what would this profile look like? But the preliminary results here suggest that this is, that, 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 that this is a minor concern. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my talk.